What is up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today we get to show you a little bit about this trinary switch, binary switch, AC thing. You guys remember the last video we finally got the AC tied in with the lines and stuff like that. But I want to show you guys and talk to you guys I should say even about this little guy right here. This little guy a lot of people do not use and you should use especially when you're running these LS swaps with these electric uh, fans. That's the biggest thing. Oh, real quick, did you guys subscribe yet? Subscribe, subscribe to the channel. You see what's going on up there. Goose Performance up there. Go to YouTube, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the bell for notifications. And also guys, the giveaway is still going on, still live. So you guys remember the giveaway. Oh, what's that? Yeah, buddy, you guys remember that thing. But the giveaway is still going on for the custom diffuser. Um, this is probably going to be the last video before I announce a winner. So if you guys have not, you guys have till Friday to get your swag, get your swag. The giveaway will end this Friday for the custom diffuser. If you guys have not entered the win yet, and if you guys are looking to buy one also, I've had a few people ask me, there's, there's very limited. I mean, for a 70, especially for a 70, minus the one we're going to give away if the winner is a 70 or 71 or two depending on which one but i only have five of each right now oh you might see them down there too look yeah we're gonna gotta get those wrapped up and shipped out also but that's what is going on guys as far as the giveaway so remember go get your swag enter to win every five bucks you spend gives you one entry to actually win so the more you spend the better the chances are right Okay, back to this guy though. So this guy, trinary switch, vintage air. So if you guys are running a vintage air kit, this is the guy that they give you, I should say, no, scratch that. This is the guy you have to order after you order the kit. They give you this guy. This is a binary switch. Binary meaning two, right? Oop, and there it goes. Trinary meaning three. So a binary, that guy down there, what that guy does is just operates on the high and low side of the AC system. So it, all it does is control the high and low, that's it. Now, the trinary switch is actually gonna do those two and also operate your fans. Now, it's super important, that's why those are really only good for like maybe the drop guac, if we had a vintage air kit in the drop guac with the um, old style fan, like the ones that actually um, spin off the water pump that don't rely on a signal that are always spinning. So what's happening is that you're having a lot of pressure built up. As soon as the AC kicks on, it's going to build up that head pressure. And what you want to do, especially you all know us, especially out here in this Vegas heat, we like to sit in our cars with the air conditioning on, right? At a, at a parking lot or just getting the car warmed up or just sitting waiting on somebody, right? So the last thing you wanna do is have that AC system running, getting that pressure up and not having the AC going, I'm sorry, not having the fans going to cool down that entire engine along with your car. You don't wanna overheat, things like that. So that's why this guy's very important. What this does, it allows you to have these fans come on without actually getting the car up to temperature because what happens is from like this one particularly this is an ls so we got an ecu here the ecu is programmed to give us um, a signal a ground directly to our relay which allows the fans to come on but at a certain temperature that's kind of the same thing as the old school ones are but those ones just operate all the time right so those fans are constantly spinning so what this is going to do got a little wiring diagram for you guys here we'll go over real quick here in a second but as a matter of fact let me show you how this thing gets wired in um so here i have four wires for four wires correct now obviously this guy is going to go right into your dryer it's going to screw right in we'll get that here in a sec once i put some ends on this thing but i've already kind of had mine made up here so you're going to have this blue wire is actually the blue wire that runs back to the fans. This black wire is my ground that just it's a, just another ground that grounds to my chassis here. 
And then this bla other black wire is actually the black wire that runs back to your AC compressor. Your AC compressor should have at least one wire that comes off of it. Every compressor is pretty standard like that, especially with these vintage air kits. So you, that's the black wire there. And then you're gonna have a blue wire that comes back and runs all the way back into your um, dash, or I should say, uh, where your relay is at for your vintage air kit. Now, once again, this is really only applying for somebody running a vintage air kit or even um, an LS, because like I said, that guy down there, small block Chevy, doesn't need a trinary switch. Binary, binary, trinary. So let's go over real quick, a little bit of uh, some school here for y'all. So this is what I got going on here, just, just like we just talked about. Vintage air kit, this is, un you should have a relay just like this uh, in the kit that I have that is sits behind your dash or right next. I usually mount mine right there next to the cow underneath the dash on the passenger side. You're going to have a relay with the blue wire coming out or you'll even have a, like a T-stat that comes off and with the blue wire coming out. And that wire essentially is power. So you have that wire coming out. And that one you're gonna connect, this is our trinary switch, by the way, if you guys can get the drawing. Trinary switch, you're gonna have the one black wire with the green lead. You're gonna hook those two up there, right? And then come back down here, and then you have another blue wire that comes off. That's gonna be just directly your ground, just like we talked about just a second ago. And the one underneath it is also blue and green, I'm sorry, black and green. Black and green, that's the one that runs back to your AC compressor. You guys like my drawing, AC comp. Does it look like a compressor? I don't know. I didn't I didn't go to art school, man. I mean, I took an art class, but come on. But, and we got the other, um, the other blue wire off the top here. That essentially is your ground slash um, signal. So what this one is actually going to run back, and this is where you tie it into your fan relay, because your fan relay should have a designated ground slash um, signal that comes from your ECU. So if we follow it back here, this is our ECU, which is the ECU on these PSI harnesses. They come back and they give you a green and blue wire that comes back out for a secondary fan and primary fan. So they come out and they obviously send the signal out once that engine temp is up but you're gonna wire that into that guy there. I should say you're gonna cut it off and, and basically intercept it here and connect that wire to it. So also another way of doing this, you can do it all of this as well. You can also do this. You can also actually add a switch, just a toggle switch and the same thing, it's gonna act, you're gonna ground the toggle switch from one side and the other side, you're going to run it back to this ground. So really, you, with the flip of a switch, you're grounding the circuit and actually activating the actual fans to come on once this toggle switch is on and off. So you can actually have this on whenever you want, but you can't turn it off whenever you want. Just remember that because once the engine is up to temp, then the computer is going to still send their signal to your fan relays to kick on so you really can't control the fan off but you should be able to control it on so but that's the most important is that you want those fans to stay on now i will say this i only have it drawn up here with one fan relay um obviously we're running two so what i did is we did the same thing here we're going to come off here come back here and then you're going to run excuse my drawing y'all same thing, you're gonna run it to pin 86, which is another ground. So you're gonna have, cause this ECU, like I said, has two wires coming off of it. So you got the blue wire and the green wire. I don't have a green marker, guys, sorry about that. But that green wire, same thing, you're gonna intercept it and you're gonna run it to the other um, part of the relay slash ECU. So you're gonna end up, I ended up just splitting this guy here, splitting this guy into two, and one going to each relay slash the and tying it in also with the ECU ground. So what's happening, like I said, it's it's really the same thing what your fan and your ECU is doing. 
with this setup here is what's happening is this is all it's doing is telling it when the temperature is up turn the fans on now what this is telling it hey the ac is on turn your fans on that's a, that's all it's doing hopefully you guys understand that i mean if you guys do not there's um more information out there vintage air has some more info on there i kind of want to touch this on the two fan relays with the ls harness because i didn't really see a lot of information out there for the ls harness there's a bunch of like videos for like the old small block chevys big block chevys but like i said vintage air kit make sure you guys are running this thing that i just stepped on jesus come on gina so make sure you guys are running this trinary switch Keep that engine cool, keep the head pressure down and all that. But let me wire this thing in so you guys can see what the finished product looks like. Stick around, don't go anywhere. Just like that you guys it is all ready to go laced up ready to be connected tell me what you guys think now there's a purpose i could have put one four pin connector four conductor connector here but i made this so that way it's removable from my harness like let's say we got to take this off i always think about working on cars you know that so i made these two con different connectors because that way it can be removed a certain way if something has to come off we don't have to cut wires or anything like that versus putting them all in one connector so that's kind of why i did it this way but all we got left is screw this bad boy on here like i said it's got a seal on it so we should be good there you don't need to add anything other than your seal make sure that's on there just snug that up a little bit and all we got to do is connect these let's see if i can connect these with for you guys with one hand shoot i even messed it up guys i connect the wrong one to the wrong one trying to do it with one hand but we got it now we got it all hooked up just right there we go but that's pretty much it guys that's it remember trinary switch get those fans going when you're running that ac out here in this heat um if you guys need a uh, this once again Here's another shot of this little diagram I drew up for you guys. Nothing crazy. Hopefully this helps somebody. But yeah, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell for notifications. Get your swag at gooseperformance.com and stay wrenching.